Hello, fellow gamers. Welcome back to Legends of the Twilight Princess. Kevin J. 2010 here. In the last episode, we made our way through the Lost Woods and made our way to the Sacred Grove where we got the Master Sword, which Link is currently holding. And dang, it looks cool because it has like wings and stuff. And yeah. Um, my friend actually has a replica Master Sword in real life, in case you want to know. Anyway, we also got the ability to be able to become a wolf whenever we want. This is a turning point in the game, in my opinion. This is when the game becomes a full-blown Zelda epic. where A lot of Zelda games have this, where they kind of just say, Here, free range, go do whatever you want. And that's what this point in the game is. It's also like in Wind Waker, like once you got the three pearls, it becomes like a big open world to you, and you can start doing stuff. Of course, you could have done it from the beginning, but it... It's not really the same. This is when the world opens up to you and you can now do whatever you want. Including, you can now warp. And the warping in this game, I like a lot more than warping in other Zelda games. Because it's really open. Anyway, what we're going to want to do in this episode is we're going to have a huge collect-a-thon. Yes, we are. Because we have a lot of stuff to get. I am telling you right now, we have a lot of stuff to grab. Um, first off is right here when you warp to Castletown. Well, the entrance to Castletown in Hyrule Field. The annoying thing about the warping with Wolf is every time you warp somewhere in as the wolf form, you have to switch back into human. Which is kind of annoying, but then again, traveling as Wolf Link is a lot faster than traveling as regular Link. Which means you need to get a Pona, which means you already have like three different means of travel if you don't include the warping as a means of travel at the beginning, so it's kind of weird. Anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to want to use the claw shot to get up, oh, up, oh, don't shoot me again, I swear to god. No! Let me up! I want what's up, up, let me up, let me up, let- Who is doing this? He's running away! Get him! Uh, sorry about that. He got me very angry. Okay, now climb. Ah, <sighs> anyway. You'll notice right here is the... Wait, wait for it, wait for it. The female butterfly, which was one of the ones we were missing if in our bug log. No, these are letters. Kevin, what are you looking at? Anyway. So yeah, there's the male butterfly. We actually haven't handed out the butterflies yet. So, yeah, we only have six bugs left to get. And we can get two of them in this episode. And actually, we're going to be getting the last four within these next... We're going to get four of them within the next two episodes. And the really annoying thing is the last two take forever to get... The last two are like... You have to wait really long in the game to get them, too. It's really annoying. Anyway, so now that we have that, um, there's a lot of things you can collect once you have the, the claw shot. The claw shot actually accounts for a lot of the heart pieces and things we can unlock right now. It's kind of weird that they gave it to you all, like, uh, right when we had the chance to. Mr. Link, wait! <laughs> I seem to be talking really loud this episode. Anyway. <sighs> Greetings, Mr. Link! I've come to deliver a letter! It is a letter from Telma! <laughs> well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail! <laughs> I love that guy! But he's annoying. But I love him at the same time. It's one of those love-hate sort of things. Link, there... Link, there are some folks I want you to meet, so come to my bar right away. So yeah, as you can tell, that's where we're going to want to go, but I'm not going to necessarily do that just yet because there's a lot of stuff we can get done right now. And I really want to get it all done now so we don't have to leave it for later. Um, for example, there's a lot of heart pieces, or heart pieces of heart that we can get. And if you remember couple episodes ago, not the last one, but the one before it, we activated a Howling Stone. You may want to remember that. I'm just going to go to that now, because we kind of need it. We kind of need it. Anyway. Yeah. I uh, don't want to talk to you. Although, now that we also have this, there's also a huge side quest that we can do now. And it's a pretty hefty side quest. It, it's not that bad, but it, it the side quest itself has one of the most, one of the hardest, um, one of the hardest um, missions in the game. And I'm telling you, it is hard and annoying and really, really like it's just stupidly hard. So 
yeah, anyway, so I'm just giving you guys a little bit of foreshadowing as we run into the white albino wolf here. Come on, Link, you can fight it this time, because now you have the Master Sword. Oh, God! We meet again. This next is the greatest of the hidden skills I have taught you to this point, and it may test the limits of your endurance. Do you wish to master it? Heck yeah! Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure that you have mastered the backslice. Come at me. Okay. Whoa! -ha, I'll get behind you. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My fourth hidden skill is the Helm Splitter. Let it be honed into your mind. Doom, 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 boom. It is impossible to circle around the performer backslice against fully. It is impossible to circle around and perform a backslice against fully armored enemies that move swiftly in combat. Against such foes, you must first use the shield attack and make them flinch, but then quickly press A. You will leap into the air above the enemy's head and greet them with your blade by immediately striking from behind. Link's like, sweet. <laughs> this is the Helm Splitter. Show it to me. Ting. So you want a shield attack. And then A button, and you'll slice them right in the head. And then you want to hit him again, because... He likes getting hit with a sword, I, I don't know. He's got, like, a sword fetish? Anyway. Hmm, impressive. Do not miss your chance to land a Helm Splitter with A after your shield attack. The fourth hidden skill, the Helm Splitter, has been passed on. This is a very helpful skill to learn in the game, because... There are still three hidden skills left. Yeah, blah blah blah. I know where, I know where the rest of the howling stones are. Yep, I know where they all are. I just thought of them over. I just thought them over in my head right now. Anyway, so we still have a fair bit of time on our hands. We can still do a couple more collectibles. Um, first, we want to go back into Hyrule Castle Town. But one thing I can talk about on my way there. Remember how I was talking about at the beginning of this episode about how my friend has a replica master sword. We actually chipped it in to buy him for his birthday, which is pretty cool. But that's not the point. Um, I was actually at an anime convention the other day, which was why a couple episodes ago there was like a huge break. It's because I was going to an anime convention, and someone had something in their lines. Anyway, and basically, um, they were selling a replica Master Sword for $250. That was just outrageous. I bought a sword there that's Trunk Sword from Dragon Ball Z for half that price. Yeah, it's still a lot of money, I'll give you that. But I mean, it's a sword. Please post a comment if you feel that owning a sword... Please post a comment on one of two things. Either A, that Master Sword was overpriced. Or B, having a sword makes you awesome. Or C, A and B. Like, I don't know. I I, I don't know why. I, I've always wanted to have a sword. And I sounded really weird there. I was like, I, 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 I. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. I'm saying, um... I've always wanted to own a sword, and now I finally have. Anyway, where you're going to want to go is you're going to want to go right here. What are you? It's like some sort of weird elf person. Anyway, you'll notice the cats all love you for some reason, and that's because you're a wolf. Anyway, when you enter into here... Greetings and salutations, good sir. Welcome to the kingdom of hopes and fondest dreams. In this place, you can taste the life of a circus star and get your hands on gear that boggles minds. It is our earnest hope that you find delight playing the star game. The rules are exceedingly simple. So all you must, so all you must endeavor to do is track down all the glowing orbs and collect them all before time runs out. Star, get it? <laughs> Rather outstanding name, I must say. Step right up. Shyness be gone. It's only 10 rupees. Who's up for the challenge? I am. Okay, so this mini game is actually pretty hard, but I can kind of do it. You're going to want to make sure you just use your claw shot immediately. And what you're going to want to do is you kind of just find little lines of these, and you want to collect as many of them as you can by flying into them. Frankly, it's a rather hard one because they only give you like 30 seconds. So I'm going to try to do as best I can. Um, this is required if you want to 100% the game. I think that's the last one right there, too. There we go, got it. That was really easy. Oh, man. Him, Impossible. It, 
Oh, what a happy day it is. The debut of a new star. Showers of applause all around. To the star, I shall give you this. You got the big quiver. Yes, we can now hold on to 60 arrows, which is very useful indeed. Trust me. It's a very useful upgrade that we should come that, that I suggest you collect because you need to use arrows a lot in this game. Eek, it's him! Heart, heart, heart! And guess what they do? Eek, it's him! Heart, heart, heart! Heart, heart, heart! <laughs> I like how this game makes that joke. That's really funny. I really like that. Anyway, I don't. You, you, do you use arrows a lot in this game? I guess you do to an extent. It's just good to always have arrows, I think. Um, yeah, so we pretty much did everything we need to do here. Um, one thing I am going to do now is there's a whole bunch of mini-games we can do, and I'm going to try doing all of them in this episode, and I'm going to try cutting them all together. This might be a really long episode. Anyway, we're going to want to warp. We're going to want to warp all the way up to Zora's Domain, because we actually couldn't get here since we just we had just finished the Water Temple, and you can't warp back up there because there's no way of getting up here. Basically, I'm going to come all the way up here and land into Zora's Domain. We... 187. Um, <laughs> I gotta stop doing this. Um, what you're gonna want to do is first you have to get past something that's really annoying in this game that they keep warping you as Wolf Link, but half the time they won't let you transform into human because they're like, You can transform into human here, man. Everyone's gonna see you. And I'm like, Yeah, but half the people in this game point out that I'm the blue eyed beast. Like, come on. Like, I know Link is handsome and all, but that doesn't mean he's a blue eyed beast, like. When he's not the blue eyed, anyway. Not the point. Anyway, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come in here. Put on your iron boots. Um, obviously, you could put on your Zora armor right now. In fact, I probably should have done that. Let's put that on right now. Okay, Zora armor. Okay, you're gonna take out a bomb. Just place it right there. Uh, that might not work. Oh, it did. And you'll see a Goron come popping out of it. Hooray? You want to talk to him? He goes, I'm finally out. Thanks, brother. I took a nap and found myself swallowed up in lava and somehow very far from home. Oh, uh, yes. Well, let me give you a token of my appreciation, brother. This is all I have on me right now. I hope it will do. You get a bag with bombs. Yes, in this game, instead of having... Which is something I also really liked about this game. Every Zelda game usually gave you just multiple bombs like multiple bigger bomb bags. This one doesn't give you bigger bombs, it actually gives you more bags, which is you know, if I would if you guys didn't know I was talking about Zelda, you'd probably think I'm an idiot. Anyway, not the point here. Um so yeah, basically I thought it'd be a really cool idea that they did that because since there's different types of bombs, don't you think it'd be a good idea to have multiple types? Blue Ruby! Anyway, I'm surprised I haven't collected one yet. I kind of sound like NCS there, didn't I? Anyway, not the point. So, diving into the water! I didn't go, ah! As I fell, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm doing. I've been recording for a fair while now. Who knows when this episode's supposed to end. Okay, I just want to at least get this dragonfly. Come on. Mr. Dragonfly. Mr. Dragonfly. Dragonfly. Got it. This is the male dragonfly. Awesome, ain't it? Awesome. I'm going to try opening up. My thing here. Okay. Okay, so now that we have that one, we're going to want to get the other one real quick. And I can probably end the episode after collecting a couple more things. But we're probably going to have another collectathon in the next episode. But, you know, it's my first Zelda LP. It can't go over perfect. I'm sure I'll do another one eventually. I haven't even decided which one it's going to be. I've obviously thought about it. Because obviously I do plan on redoing series that I've already done. And that's one of the. F Zelda is one of the few ones where I'm really torn on what my next one should be. It's not going to be for any time soon. Don't worry about that. It's not like, oh, the next Let's Play is going to be a Zelda game. Wink, wink, no. But. It's. I'm definitely going to do one soon, obviously. Oh, there it is. That makes a lot of sense. Now, this one, now that I remember, it's actually a really hard one to grab. I would suggest getting your Gale Boomerang out and kind of bringing him over to you. 
And then you kind of have to pick him up. There we go. We got the female dragonfly. And now we have only four golden bugs left to get. And one of them will be getting the next episode. And real, 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 real quick, right before this episode ends, I'm going to collect one more thing. One, well, two more things, but they're in the same place. And I can do this really, really, really quick. And it's really worth grabbing. <coughs> Up here is the fishing hole. And in the fishing hole is where we're going to want to go. Go in the hole. Aha, I did it. I made an Animaniacs reference. I is happy. Anyway... I don't, I'm not even sure if it's open at night. I don't think it really matters, though. I know we can get at least one of the things here during the day. I know we can. I know we can get at least this. So, for the few times the fishing rod is actually used in this game, is right now. And that's it. This is the few times it's actually used in the game. You're going to want to go fishing right here. And you're, you actually really want to. Now, you're going to want to try figuring out how to get this to work. Again. Ah, work. I don't know how this thing works. It wasn't developed well enough, Nintendo. Ah, I thought I had it. Okay. Sinking, sinking, up, up. Sinking, sinking, up, up. Sink, up. Sinking, sinking, pulling, sinking, 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 pull! Got something! Sweet. Let's see if I got it or not. Yes, I did! You got an empty bottle! Yes, that is our third empty bottle in the game. Which is good, because it has been a while since we got one. And let's just see if we can unlock the one final thing here, and I wonder what it is. It actually is a very... You actually kind of see it right now, but my hearts are blocking the way. Um, yeah. Is that it right there? Yeah, you can see it right there. It might be a really small speck for you, but trust me, it's important. Okay, I'm not sure if I can rent a boat right now from the fishing hole, because that's what you're supposed to do. If we can't, then we're fine. Now, there's one thing I love about this game. Link walks in here, and he's just like, Holy crap! It's a fishing... Oh, man! Oh, Hey there! Hey, you! You've never been here before, have you? Well, I'm the owner of this fishing hole. My name's Hena. Hina. Nice to meet ya. I like. I just love Link's face when he walks in here. Twenty rupees to try a lure and everything. Don't worry about it. it. Just spend the money. There's nothing worth getting here unless you really want to unlock some extra mini games at the very end. You can already see what we're getting right now. It's right there. We can already. We, th there it is. This is the only reason why you do this, and I'm not even kidding. This is the only reason why you do this. You just want to kind of lock on right in front of it. Did I get it? Nope. And you have to use like an actual fishing rod sort of thing this time. Got it. What's that? A piece of heart? Ooh, whose heart did you catch, you big sweetheart? Don't be shy, this one's yours to keep. That's kind of really weird. Anyway, so, now that I've completely wasted 20 minutes of your life, or however long this video actually was, I will see you guys all in the next episode. See you guys later.